What's good, people? This your boy Mike right here. I'm back again with another video, and um, I'm like a week late on this video. But um, how many y'all heard about Manny Pacquiao's suspension? Um, he got suspended from the uh from Las Vegas for like 90 days because of his devastating knockout of uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, the Nevada Athletic State Commission suspended Manny for 90 days, so um, he probably won't be back in the ring as they say until like September um like I, I, what the fuck is boxing coming to like honestly like this is my first time ever hearing about boxers getting suspended because they get knocked out I'm like if you got knocked out you got knocked out I mean I think it should be his choice if you want to come back in April or May it's his choice I mean like, why the fuck are you gonna suspend a man for 90 days like if he got hurt he got hurt but to me like the question I'm still trying to get an answer to is I know Pacquiao and Marquez took a urine test and we all know everything does not show up in urine if you take your blood test you know what I'm saying more stuff will show up in blood tests a urine does not prove like urine is not 100% basically so I'm still trying to find out is Marquez is he on something but besides that um I'm going to get past that uh, um, drug stuff, but yeah, Mark, I mean, um, Pacquiao suspended for 90 days, like, I never heard of, of, of a boxer getting suspended because he gets knocked out, and then the um, Nevada Athletic State Commission suspends his dude for 90 days, I'm like, because you know Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying, he got, he ran into Marquez's right hand, it was like a basically a two-inch shot, and like, I'm saying it ain't like Pac, Pac was coming in. Marquez drew back. He did like Pac came in. <coughs> the punch grazed Marquez's face. Like grazed his face as he was slipping. It was about a two inch shot from here to here. A two inch shot and knocked Pac out cold. And his face like hit the canvas hard. So, you know, after the fight, he had to go to the hospital. He had to get, you know what I'm saying, CAT scans, brain scans to, <clears throat> to make sure, you know, his he didn't have a cracked skull or. A concussion or anything like that, but I mean that's crazy. Like suspending somebody for getting knocked out. I'm like, it's if it's his choice if he wants to come back in April or May. If he wants to come back, let him come back. But I don't know. But they saying that um, Pack can probably try to get a license, like probably like in the state of Texas. Texas are probably you know what I'm saying let him fight there, but. As far as we know, in the state of Nevada, Pacquiao cannot fight there for like a 90 days. So, the best move for Pac is to try to fight in Texas. That's if he wants to fight in April. But, you know what I'm saying, if he wants to stay in Vegas, like I know Pacquiao likes Las Vegas. And if Pac wants to stay there, then his next fight probably, like they said, probably won't be until like September. And people still talking about they want to see um, Pacquiao Marquez 5. What? Pacquiao Marquez 5, what? I don't want to see no more Pacquiao Marquez. They fought four times. I don't want to see any more. Like, I'm done with Pacquiao Marquez. Pac won two. Marquez won one by knockout. And one fight was a draw. I don't want to see any more Pacquiao Marquez. Please, people, please do not ask for another Pacquiao Marquez fight. I will not watch it. I uh, will not go to, you know, Vegas or wherever they fight. I'm not going to go to, um, to the weigh-in. I'm not gonna watch it or nothing like that. I don't want to see any more Pacquiao Marquez. I'm tired of hearing these two names together in the fight. I'm done with it. Now, um, Pacquiao says if him and Mayweather don't fight, you know what I'm saying, in 2013 the fight won't happen. So the question is now is Pacquiao will the Pacquiao Mark will the Pacquiao uh, Mayweather fight happen? Um, I don't know. At this point, I really don't care anymore. Honestly, I'm telling y'all the God honest truth. The God honest truth. I don't care about Pacquiao and uh, Mayweather anymore. If he come back and fight, um, you know, Mayweather, you know what I'm saying, Pacquiao is going to be a step slower. He is going to be a step slower getting knocked out cold like that. Um, Pacquiao, he's going to be a step slower. So if he, let's say, hypothetically, he comes back in September and he doesn't want to fight in Texas or anywhere else. Let's say he comes up back in September and he picks, you know what I'm saying, Mayweather. And they fight in September. Pack will be a step slower. And, um, like, I don't think, honestly, think Pack is going to win the fight. 
at this stage right now, you know what I'm saying, getting knocked out like that, it will, you know what I'm saying, slow you up, it'll take a toll on your body, and Pac is not going to be the same, I mean, he's going to be mostly the same, but he's going to be a little bit slower, and, you know, he probably can't take a punch as well, I don't know, but, I know, I don't know, I, I don't know, so if the fight don't happen in September, Mayweather Pacquiao, I honestly don't think it's going to ever happen, you know, um, Pacquiao, you know, Pacquiao got screwed over by uh, Tim Bradley. I actually watched that fight, like, twice, like, a couple days ago. And the fight was actually closer than what um, Harold Letterman had. He had it, I think, two rounds, uh, Bradley, 10, Pac. And I actually had it, like, a little bit closer. Not to say that, you know what I'm saying, Bradley was really doing much. You know what I'm saying? He was basically keeping Paco with the jab. He wasn't really landing it, but, you know what I'm saying, he was... Staying busy and keeping Pac occupied with his jab. And after watching that fight a couple times, I had to fight a uh, uh, seven five seven uh, Pat and five um, Bradley. But you know what I'm saying? Pat got screwed that fight and fight Marquez the fourth time. He gets knocked out cold. Um, the question is, what's next for Pacquiao? Will they take him off HBO? Will they bump him down to Showtime? We don't know. Um. Mayweather Pacquiao, I honestly don't want to see it anymore at this point. If it doesn't happen in September, I don't want to see it. If they do fight in September, I don't see Pac winning because he got knocked out cold and he's not going to be the same fighter. So if they fight in September, I see Mayweather winning. Um, if they don't fight in September, I don't want to hear shit else about Mayweather Pacquiao. You know, yeah, I know some people out there probably talking about Mayweather Marquez too. Why? Mayweather's just going to beat him again. Like, if he fight Mayweather, he's going to take that blood test. And if something pop up, Mayweather's not going to fight him. So, I mean, if Marquez is on something, he's not getting past Mayweather. Because he's taking urine and blood, not just urine. Urine and blood. Some people ask for Marquez, Mayweather too. Mayweather's just going to beat him again, honestly. By the, you know what I'm saying? The shoulder roll, Marquez not going to really land much. Keep him off with a jab and a right hand and occasionally. I don't think Mayweather's going to hurt him. I'll knock him down, but I see Mayweather winning again. Once again, by a 12-round unanimous decision if they face off again. But I don't see Mayweather fighting Marquez again. Um, Marquez, he's like, what, 39? Going on 40 next year? So, I don't see Mayweather fighting that man again. Mayweather's just going to beat him again like he did the first time. And a lot of people probably think um, Marquez is a different fighter. And he has a better shot. He's not a different fighter. Like, you don't just turn 39 years old and start knocking people out. Like, people need to realize that. I know some people are like, he took a urine test and it came up negative. A urine test. Like, a urine test is really... Like, if you go to the doctor, they say, pee in a cup and they draw your blood. Like, if they can find anything in your urine, they wouldn't even draw your blood. They would just say, hey, pee in a cup. We don't need to draw your blood. Like, common sense. Like, come on. Like, you don't turn 39 years old and start knocking people out like that. <clears throat> That don't happen. And once people start realizing this, then y'all see, oh, yeah, Mike was right. Now, you don't turn 39 and start knocking people out like that. And him refusing to take, uh, refusing the blood test and go for a urine, man? Come on, man. Everybody know blood is more uh, accurate. They can find more stuff in your blood. If it, was a, if it was that case, then they would just do everything by urine. Come on, man. But, yeah, pack is spending for 90 days. I think this is complete ludicrous. Um, I think it should be a fighter's choice if he wants to come back. You know what I'm saying? Six months later to fight. I don't think it should be up to the state to decide that. I think that's kind of crazy. I don't know what the hell boxing is coming to now. Boxing is changing. And I'm pretty sure a lot of fighters get suspended every day. But this is like my first time ever hearing about a fighter getting suspended. Such as Manny Pacquiao. For getting knocked out, you get suspended because we don't want him to get injured again. It's his, it's his choice. I mean, damn. We're the bird coming. I mean, damn. Let the man do what he wants. If he want to come back, let him come back. I don't think it should be up to the state to decide whether he should come back or not. I mean, damn. If he come back and get hurt, hey, he come back and get hurt. It's all on him. So, I'm like, like I said, I'm like a week late on this. So y'all just hit me up with any questions or comments and um, just let me know what you think when it's hollering. I'm out. Peace.